Hey, where do you- I'll just skip the first dialogues because we've already heard that. Very- Who's look? Who should I talk to? To my leader. His name is Brago. He can explain everything to you better than I can. So, what about it? Are we going? How do I know this isn't a trap? You know, I'm getting tired of you. If you don't want my help, then just go to the city and let them put you behind bars. You come with me now or forget about it, see? Easy, my friend. Someone else already tried to trick me. Oh? This guy suggested that we should get an amulet together and share the profit. Once we reached our goal, he and his friends attacked me. It sounds as though they got you involved with the wrong people. Where was that? I was a convict in the mining colony. You come from behind the barrier? Man, then we were there together. I don't know you. I was a digger in the old camp. I didn't have much to do with the whole thing. But what is more important now is you are in big trouble. Someone has put a pretty price on your head, and he's handed out a few posters with your mug on them. If I were you, then I would be very, very careful. There are people with us who would kill their own mother for gold. But I think we boys from the penal colony ought to stick together. Then I guess I better thank you now. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just make sure you stay alive. Who's the fella who pays the bounty? That I don't know. There's only one of us who knows him. And who would that be? Hey man, I can't really tell you that. You know how it goes. Ten gold pieces for the name of the guy who raised the bounty. Oh man, I really can't do that. Spit it out already. Oh man, all right. His name is Dexter. Near the big farm, there's a steep rock. There's a watchtower up there and a few mines. He has his hideout somewhere nearby. See, that wasn't so hard. Here's your gold. And just don't tell him who told you. Can I have the picture? Sure. After all, it's your mug on there. There's bound to be a lot of trouble here before long. What's up? A guy named Cavalorn is coming to get you. Gods, he's still alive. I'm out of here. Look at him go. <laughs> well, we got some useful information out of him. We also got this very nice portray of us. Where is it? There it is. Hey, you good looking. So, one bandit elected, but there's still two people in the cave we can say hello to. So let's actually do that. Let's go to Cavalor and say that we mix up those guys. Hey! Let's mix it up with those guys. Sure thing. Just keep my back clear, okay? Now, they're in for a nasty surprise. And to the fray we go. Or rather, just... Going to stay back since Cavalorn is a quest NPC and can kill those guys without any problems. You could actually just uh, ignore this uh, chat with the bandit and just straight uh, charge straight in. The information just give a little bit of experience and a bit of story, but they're not completely necessary. You deserve that low life. What an exciting fight! So, that's done. Ha! They shouldn't have messed with me. Then I can finally fulfill my mission. I've lost too much time already. What sort of mission? Ah, yeah. First I have to get into the city, and then later. Ah, I don't know how I'm going to get all that done in time. What about me? Hmm, why not? You could take the letter into the city. Then I'll have a bit more time to take care of my equipment. One of the bandits must have the letter in his pocket. Take it to Vatras, the water mage in the city. You'll find him in the temple of Adenos. He preaches there all day. Tell him that I wasn't able to get it done. And if he asks where I am, just tell him I'm already on my way to the meeting point. Okay? Oh yeah, one more thing. 
first buy some decent clothes from the farmers. Otherwise, you may be taken for a bandit. Here's a couple of coins. Ah, now comes the favorite part of my game. Loading some dead bodies. We anyway have to get the sealed message for Batra, so we might as well take everything else they have. This game doesn't have any encumberment, so you can basically carry half Karinis with you, but uh, in exchange you can't loot any armors from enemy. And armors in this game is only just the armor, they're not like subparts like greaves and uh, whatever else. It's just a armor, not more, not less. But we also got some notes which we could take a look at after I uh, gather some mushrooms. I'm sorry about this collecting, but the only thing I'm going to collect is all the dark mushrooms and then everything else I ignore. Okay, let's see what we've gathered here. We got a sealed message which we probably shouldn't open, so we leave that be, but we got this message here. In case you didn't talk to the bandit, you get a slight hint from the signature because it's a D, but then again there are a truckload of NPCs which could have the name D. Also in these letter bags, you can see the, according to the value how much gold there is. Well, fine. Maybe the water mages aren't aren't trying to actively murder me, but someone else apparently does. This Dexter guy is looking for us, but the question is, who is he and what does he want from us? Well, people who played the first game should know him because he was a shadow from the old camp. But the only thing we had to do with him was a minor quest, so he doesn't really have a reason to hunt us down. Oh, hey, hey there, bandit. Nice hiding spot. But anyways, it's weird. He has no reason, but well, we'll probably have to pay him a visit when we happen to pass by his hideout, which will eventually happen, but currently we're way too weak. Ooh, donations. Thank you. Well, this is the counterpart of the Shrine of Beliar. It's a shrine for the god Enos. You can donate money and sometimes get your health restored or even a slight permanent stats increase, but it's not really worth it. The mythology of this game isn't too complicated, it's basically Enos is the good god, Belior is Enos' evil brother, and Adonis keeps the balance between good and bad. That's basically all you need to know. And there's a farm coming up, and we should get some farmer clothes, so let's actually ask the shepherd. Hey stranger, I saw how you came out of the mountains. You can be glad you didn't come by here three weeks ago. We would have taken you for an escaped convict. And we made short work of those. You look completely done in. What do you want here? I'm on my way to town. The way you look, you'll have to bribe the guys to get in. And you have to know what they want to hear. And that would be? Well, for example, that you're from Lobart's farm and want to go to the smith in the city. But that won't do you any good. You don't look like a farmer. I see. I need better equipment. I can imagine. But I tell you right now, we don't have anything to give away. If you can pay for what you want, Lobart will sell you something. Otherwise, go to him and ask him if he has work for you. Where can I find Lobart? Well, on the farm, of course. The farm belongs to him. And don't try messing with him. He's thrashed a lot of tramps and thrown them off his farm. I was attacked by bandits in the mountains. Those filthy rabble. They were probably the same bastards who took one of our sheep last night. You had terrific luck. Most people don't get away alive. Those bandits won't trouble you anymore. Why, are they dead? They picked a fight with the wrong guy. Thank Enos. Here, it isn't much, but I want you to have it. I'll tell the others about this. Yup, they picked the fight a fight with an invincible NPC. Beasts. What? Ah, Wolf. Let's help him out real quick. It's easy experience. 
It's just a matter of getting the last hit on the monster, otherwise I won't gain any well any experience. Luckily they switched it around if you're together with someone like like before with Cavalon, and I got the experience without even doing anything. Also I like the scripted event here. Then again, the only thing that's actually scripted is the wolf spawning, anything else is totally natural. But anyways, let's talk to Lobart. <laughs> 